What up, Gospel Diaries? Some memories are worth reliving, and that's exactly what Mama Ludella Evans Reed has done for this episode of Gospel Diaries. I'm so excited for you to view it, to enjoy it, to love it. All right? Enjoy. And remember to love them so much and change your life. I'm in Chicago with this man right here. Say hello to the people. <laughs> Say hi. Hey. Thank you. Bye, guys. Man. The whole thing the first day. Huh? He said he almost ate the whole thing. What? Time the first no, he didn't. <laughs> I was wondering what I he looked. Uh-huh. All right, let me show you. Let me see. Okay. All right, so we're back. Uh, All right, we back. And this is the one and only, the lovely, also Miss Lovely, Miss Mama Lou. So, Mama Lou, so you came to Chicago in 1950, right? Yes. Your brother was doing what in Chicago when you came? Uh, well, he was over at uh, a Tabernacle with Reverend Ross. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. And he had been with uh, Bishop Ford because mm-hmm. he directed some over there. What he, you say now? <laughs> so yeah, he he was over there with Bishop Ford. Uh huh. Uh-huh, he yeah. Now did uh, you now did you get a chance to come and witness some of this that was going on with your brother, or was he already? No, he was ready to organize oh, when okay, we got okay. here. Okay, okay. Yeah, but we got he, we organized the tenth of September, mm-hmm. and we came here like uh, the first. Uh, on Labor Day, that's like the, what, first two or three days of Labor uh, of the month in September. Wow. So we didn't have a chance mm-hmm. to go any place else. Wow. He said, I want to organize. Wow. And that's what, that's what he did. Then, uh, I worked 11 to 7. 11 to 7. Those, those, those was my hours. And I stayed at the hospital, St. Luke Hospital, mm-hmm. on 14 in Mission, that was called the St. Luke Hospital. Okay. And uh, in about 57, it moved over to Presbyterian. Mm-hmm. Those two hospitals combined was Press St. Luke, or St. Luke. Mm-hmm. And I continued to work 11 to 7 because I wanted to go to church and be at church mm-hmm. in the daytime. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't want to miss anything. And so that's what happened there. Wow. In the meantime, uh, well, 1960. Okay. But while I was working 11 to 7, there was a black nurse doing private duty okay. at this press St. Luke. And she said to me, she said, why don't you mm-hmm. go into nursing? Mm-hmm. If you're going to work in a hospital, why don't you elevate yourself? Okay. And, well, I hadn't thought about it. I know <laughs> earlier I said I wanted to be a nurse, and I hadn't thought of She said, be an LPN. That's a licensed practical right. nurse. Mm-hmm. I knew that it wouldn't be hardly possible for me to go because uh, I had... By this time, I had two children. Okay. I had my son that I had left with my mother, and my mother had moved my th- mama and dad. We had kept going back and forth to Brownsville, Tennessee, mm-hmm. and so we asked them, would y'all like to come move? Nobody there anymore. None of the children was there anymore. Would y'all like to come and move to Chicago? They said, yes. Mm. We moved them here. What year was that? With us. What year was that? That was in like fifty three. Wow! So that was three that, that years wasn't, after wasn't long. Right, uh-uh. yeah, right, after okay. that, <laughs> and huh? And we moved them with him. And anyway, uh, in nineteen, uh, the, as I tell you, this nurse had said to me, mm-hmm. and I went and told Mama. She said, "Sure." I had got married again, and this was the second child. Okay. I only had the two. Okay. The boy and this girl. <laughs> okay. And she said, yeah, I, you know, she, she and I lived together, mm-hmm. you know. And she said, keep the children, take care of the children. And I went to school. Now, they told us, uh, you will not be able to work because it's going to be 
are really confining and it's going to be a lot that you're going to have to do. Uh, this LPN is going to, you do it in a year. Right. But, but. it's going to have to be so much you won't be able to work. Mm -hmm. I tried working. Mm. And my uh, grades, mm -hmm. uh, I had started the LP in school. Okay. And my grades wasn't good. And they didn't tolerate bad grades. Oh, wow. They didn't tolerate if you were absent or a lot or uh, uh, a bad grades. Okay. I saw this one girl, her name was Lo in, my cla in our class. Mm -hmm. And her, she had just about, they let her go. Mm. This girl cried, and I knew I was next because my my grace was up. Mm -hmm. I want you to know I fast. Ooh. Uh, Reverend, believe in fasting. Some things come only, only. by fasting and praying. Mm. <laughs> and I was working. Mm -hmm. I had to let the job go, but I fasted five days. Wow. And I was, school was like, I'll say eight until four. Mm -hmm. And then you go home and come back. And, and it was, I mean, it, it was a lot of work, a lot of, they, they, it was, it was awful. Mm -hmm. So I had to let it go. I want you to know I fasted those five days. Mm -hmm. And at lunchtime, they wanted everybody to go, nobody to stay. In, in the classroom, go down, everybody go down that cafeteria. I wasn't hungry anyway because I was about to get put out of school. Wow. I, I want you to know, it was 37 of us mm -hmm. in the class, the LPN. Mm -hmm. That, and every five weeks, they gave you your average. Okay. I want you to know the next five weeks coming up, I made the highest average. Wow. Within the 37. Mm. <laughs> Fasting and praying. Come on, somebody. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you what God can do. That's my experience oh, yes. with fasting and praying. Okay. And again, I'm not boasting and I'm not saying to boast, but I fast one day every week now. Now. Reverend had to church to fast ever so often. That is how we came into our building because, you know, daily mm -hmm. had stopped our building. You know, st stopped it. Yeah, we, we couldn't, and, and, and uh, we fasted and prayed. Mm -hmm. Reverend said, let's fast and pray. And we fasted and prayed. Mm -hmm. And Reverend, I, I remember him saying, you know, God does things. He said, now, if we fasted and prayed, he said, you know what's good, because if not, uh, God showed us, this would have been said, if we had not fasted. Look what I did. Wow, that's powerful. Look what I did. Mm. But we had to know God brought us through this mm -hmm. by fasting and praying and our building daily dead and gone and our building still stands. Still stands today. My God. And God still stands. And God. <laughs> Don't start that. <nothing>. Yes, yes. <laughs> I want you to know even at that. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, we fasted, Reverend, I, I guess we fast every week, uh, well, especially to we got it. And even after that, mm -hmm. still fast. And I went out there one day, uh, out after Reverend had retired. Mm -hmm. And he, when he got to the place, he just stayed home. He didn't go out anymore. And one day I went out there, I said, he says, I fast every Wednesday. In the bed set. Mm -hmm. I fast every Wednesday. It's, just, it's, it's in the system. Oh, yes. It's in you. You experience. You know what God can do. Oh, yes. You know? Glory. <laughs> yeah. So, 
uh, uh, it works, mm -hmm. it works, it works, it works. Wow. Fasting. We would fast, and then, even with the choir, I might have said this to you, now I might be going ahead of you, and I was able to kind of pick up a little bit mm -hmm. from him, you know. But we had Reverend Moore, good musician, always. We got Alpha Goodson from California. Mm -hmm. He the one trained us uh, uh, a what a fellowship. Wow. That was his arrangement. He brought it, and he gave it to us, what a fellowship. You wow. But... I, 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 I'm, I, I'm telling you. So we got Freddie Young. Did you know Freddie Young? Yes, Freddie, excellent. Now I'm going to tell you what Freddie said now. <laughs> Freddie told Reverend, because uh, Freddie told Reverend, I can't work with Ludella. Ludella don't have no degree. Oh, Lord. <laughs> he did. He said, I can't work with them. Now, he's a good musician. Ain't we ain't nothing that. He said, but I can't, I can't, I can't work with them, though. So Freddie left. Mm -hmm. Reverend made me the minister of music. That was in 63, 19th. Wow. And I was minister. Oh, now, I was all, wait, always on the music there. Mm -hmm. He said, you got my spirit. Wow. And I'm going to make you. Freddie had left, mm -hmm. cause Amy, and you make you a man still music. So let me ask you this question, Mama Lou. How did Fellowship become a hub for gospel music in the 50s? Well, we had good musicians there, like uh, Freddie Young. I mean, uh, well, Freddie, but uh, Willie. He was very Willie good. was known okay. in Chicago, one of the best, the best. organ players. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> he could play organ. He could play it, and he knew good. Uh, he knew good sing it. And he, he knew every good voices. He played every Sunday. Oh, every Sunday. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he was. Reverend hired him. Okay. Hired him. Wow. Uh huh. And he knew how to train. Mm -hmm. you, 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 if you got a good musician, and and know how to train the choir mm -hmm. real good with all the voices. Yes. And balance them out. Balance. Mm -hmm. Get a balance to them. Mm -hmm. If and let me say that, if you got good preaching, yes, and good singing, you gonna have a you can your church. You watch your church. Wow. Okay. They gonna come because mm -hmm. that's what they wanna hear. Wow. Good singing and good preaching. Mm -hmm. And I and and I have to say it. We had it. Yeah. Yes. We had good musicians. Mm -hmm. When Willie left, we had Freddie. Mm -hmm. When Freddie left, we had musicians coming in there. And wow. we, I didn't have, a, I didn't have a, a degree, but I had God. Yeah, and you had the anointing. You had and, the anointing. and I had it. Yes. I learned. I, you know, you train. Mm -hmm. Learn how to train. We had musicians that there was Michael Shaw and, oh, and, and, and Mickey. Yes. Yeah, Ralph. Mm -hmm. Billy Jones. Yes. Huh? I'm telling you, Billy Jones. We had these. And see, Reverend knew good, 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 good. He said, now, he said, all right. I, I, I've got y'all. I'm expecting. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and what I start to tell you, mm -hmm. when Reverend didn't have a fasting, I would ask the choir to fast. Ask the choir to fast. Ask the choir. Okay. You're not going to get everybody, so mm -hmm. what? But you do. And then I had Reverend York. Consuela York. And I had Reverend uh, Sister Ham. Mm. They, I could go there and Sister Ham and remember, I, I listen. I need y'all to fast with me. Wow. That's all I need to do. You need some warriors. Yes. Prayer warriors. Oh, yes. And they were close to me. Wow. And I said, I need them. We need them. And then we had these prayer warriors mm -hmm. and had some in my choir. Mm -hmm. And I, I, but we made it because mm -hmm. we 
had God on our side. Yes, yes. And we rehearsed hard. Mm -hmm. And you listened to the, 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 the songs that Milton was playing every Sunday. Milton used to have a program. Mm. And, and you listen to the songs and you take them. Mm -hmm. You bring them. And I, I would, and just like anybody else, want to be one of the first ones that learn these new songs that you hear. Mm -hmm. Come on and bring them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And it, new name and glory. Yes. I was looking at a gospel, and I had a hymn book. Gospel Pearl, gospel you have Pearl. all this. And I looked on that Gospel Pearl. <laughs> now, this new name, I could play it like it was written, but it was, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I said, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I, I kept playing. I didn't do something else with this. I didn't do something with this song. Mm -hmm. I got Michael show. I said, look here, man. Look at this song. We can, we got that song, and I rearranged it. Wow. And we're still singing it today. And it's still saying. That arrangement, too. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mama Lou, I, got I had mm -hmm. to, and I ain't telling nobody. <laughs> I, I didn't have a degree, but I had God. You had God. You still have God. <laughs> had him and still got him. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> still had him. Yes. Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> need you, little Lord. Mm -hmm. Need you. Need you, Jesus. Yes. Need you, Jesus. Yes. And he came. Yes. He came. He yes. And wherever they, you go, they'll go. Keep your eyes on me. Because I don't know what I might do. Well, what I, where I might go. So who was your predecessor? Like, who was the choir director before you? When did, when did you make that? Uh, that was uh, Fa my brother Ferris. Oh, Ferris was the Ferris okay. was directing them. And Albert Goodson okay. was training us. And we talking early 50s. Yeah, okay. in early 50s. Okay. In early 50s. Okay. Yeah, before 60. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, before, and then Freddie came in. Mm -hmm. Freddie was training. Now, Freddie was good. Mm -hmm. They have to give it to him. He was good. Freddie Young was good. Wow. Oh, could he play, though? And he could, yeah. And, and then we was trained. Mm -hmm. Would be invited. And of course, if he could be invited, he took the choir. Oh, wow. That's what they did. Okay. If the preacher, you know, uh, 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 if another church invites you, you the they, want the, they want the choir and all. They yeah. want the church to come. They don't want just the choir. They want the church. Yes. And the folks used to take the church. <laughs> okay. They took the whole church with them. Yes, took mm. the church. Wow. Yes. Now let me ask you this question. Do you remember singers like the Lockhart singers, the Lux singers, the, the Duckinaires? And well, I wasn't very close to them. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Reverend sang with the... Uh, Lux. Lux, right? Lux. Okay. Yeah. He wow. was. He and James Cleaver. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. They sang with the old lady Lux. Yes. They had a good choir. She Love had that. folks in that group for saying. Wow. Bertha Melson. Oh, my God. And she ended up going to the fellowship, right? She, oh, yeah. 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 Is, she, yeah. is she a charter member or no? No. Uh -uh. Okay, okay, she okay. wasn't charter, but okay. she came in. Okay, okay. She came in. Your, uh, Bertha and, and uh, James, mm -hmm. Reverend, and, and, and the other ladies. Mm -hmm. I, wasn't, I, I, I wasn't very close to them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because Reverend stopped kind of, you know, once he started pastor, mm -hmm. he was busy. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, now, when did you start, when did you all start to broadcast? We started broadcasting uh, maybe about the second year after we were organized. Are you serious? We, look, we broadcast for 30 minutes. Oh, my Lord. And you know where our broadcast came no, out? Please don't tell me. Mr. Like, Dixon did this. Audio, uh, and audio we audio. were you know where the broadcast? Uh, in Gary. Lord have mercy. <laughs> it was in Gary. Okay. And the Gary folks heard us and came over to see what was on. Mm. And then we went to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. That was on a big station. <laughs> 4 o'clock. Wow. We went, it was all in Chicago, all around. They could get us anywhere in Chicago. Yeah. And the people, that's when the people in Chicago started coming. And we were on State Street, State Street, 46th and State Street. Okay. 
we that were right next we to were the on Forty Sixth and State. Is that next to Omega? Oh. That was oh, Omega. we sold it to Omega. Oh, so the building is still standing. That well, the not the one okay. we had. Okay. Because okay. it was the old gar uh, garage, the garage flat where they sold cars. Oh, okay. And they uh, Reverend them made that into a church, mm -hmm. and and we sold it to Reverend Blair mm -hmm. Omega. Wow. Now speaking then, of then they then they tore it down and made a a, 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 a church the ones that yeah, I Mama think Lou, Reverend Henry Mama was. Lou, speaking that. of Reverend Blair, yeah, there there were some very prolific preachers in the city at this time. What are some of those preachers that you enjoy hearing besides Reverend Clay Evans? <laughs> That's yeah. a good one for you now. <laughs> yeah, Reverend Blair. Uh -huh. Who else? And and uh, Reverend Body. Really, you like the Reverend Body? And, and you know what? <laughs> we went to first church. Really. We went to First Church. Yes, it did. we went to First Church, and uh, and, and and Reverend uh, uh, what is out there at 100 and Davis, Reverend Davis, out at 111. What's the name of that church out there? You're talking about St. John? No, no. St. John. That, what, oh, yeah. Wait, okay. We were, uh, St. John was... That boy's father was oh, the, the pastor. Father. I didn't the, even know his father was. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was Calvary. It was Calvary. Mount Calvary. Mount Calvary. But they Mount turned Calvary. into St. John, right? Mount Calvary. Right. That's okay. St. John. Now. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. right. So now was this connected now, to Criders Mount Calvary or no? That was the one that he took. Oh. That, he came that Mount Calvary was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> we were out there. I think I'm going to have to take your Yeah. And uh-huh. And we we would, you know, wow. we were couldn't to that. No, no, let me I'm gonna you tell you okay, once. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I'm gonna tell you once. <laughs> you know, uh, this is way later up in the year or so. Uh, Lucius used to have celebrate his birthday mm -hmm. every year when he was announcer yeah. over at, at First Church. Okay. He would have it every year in because birthday in March, and Lucia. I want you to come and bring the choir. Now, this was maybe in the uh, 70s and 80s. Okay, okay. Little Dell, I want you to come and bring the choir. Mm -hmm. And so we went at. So we went, i never forget, if the church would be packed, because they advertised and he would have a lot of guests. Mm -hmm. And and i never forget, Father Hayes was there. Well, well he was he went to a lot of churches. He did. He was mm -hmm. there. And I never forget it. And they were coming out and with their hands on his shoulder. Well, you had to know a uh, 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 preacher. Okay. <laughs> preacher Carl. He said, Little Ella, they <laughs> going down the aisle, going out. Come out and give me a, come here. Go up there and give me a hymn. Oh, wow. <laughs> I never forget that. Ludella, go get me a hymn. I, I guess I still that. do it. I ain't played none in, in, in ages because I didn't have to play. You so, know? So look at this. Make sure uh -uh. it's coming and just hold it and make sure you get a song. Just make sure. Okay. wrong no the last one last one there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus there's not a <laughs> 
Dios digo aquí. you to encourage the people. I want you to look right there in that camera and I want you to encourage the youth. I don't know. I don't know. It's something got to be on your heart. Just give a word to the youth. Go ahead. Ah. Uh, well, I tell you, it's just a beautiful thing to music just part of life. And it's it's impacting. Yes. Imparting. It's empowering. Yes. <laughs> Music does. It's it's just part of life for you. And I just love music. I can't play much and I can't sing much, <laughs> but I love it. Wow. And what it does for you. It 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 does something. It keeps you going. Oh yeah. And you can make a day mm -hmm. if you just put your mind on music and singing a song. Yes. A song. Yes. It'll take you through the day. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And in the words, mm. that's what the words and the, and that's what I used to tell the choir members. Your words. What that's the words. And I would go over the words with the choir. Mm -hmm. What is this song? This song ought to be talk, talking to you. Amen. The words. Don't take that thing. <laughs> okay. it. Put it over there. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, it, uh, uh, when you survey the wondrous cause, okay. that's the song. says, see from his head. Yes. His hands. Mm -hmm. His feet. His feet. <laughs> Sorrow and love. Go ahead. Uh huh. Flow mingle down. Oh yes. Did else. Uh huh. Such love. Like that been before. Now, what is some composed so beautiful crowned? Oh yeah. yes. But the words means mean so much to you. Wow. You got to think about what the word. And then I used to tell them. Live what you're singing about. Come on, somebody. You know, live. You singing this song, live it. Live it. <laughs> live it. It, it. it it if if you if you live it, it's have an effect on you. Oh yes. And somebody else will feel it. If if you live it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
the everlasting song. Ticking right here. <laughs> that one there. Oh. <laughs> You're such a beautiful That was a young girl, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was a young girl at that time. Wow. Wow. And then uh, next to that photo is the queen. Yeah. <laughs> How did she? Okay, do you remember you know when she what? gave you that picture? I, I never forget. Uh -huh. We were in Memphis together. Okay. And she had some pictures because she was at this place in Memphis, and we were there, Reverend was there, we all were there, and she gave me, she said, get Lou Dello one of those pictures. Wow. See, she man. wrote her name on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, what about Mother And, uh, and you know that's Reverend yes. York. Yes. So, this is just you a You know right that's there. Reverend York. And it is. That <laughs> woman. <laughs> I'm telling Powerful, you. Powerful, huh? Oh, <laughs> that the fire was there. Oh, it be the guy. That fire was there. Uh-huh. She didn't. She didn't take no stuff. She believed in nothing but Jesus. <laughs> wow. It was Jesus. <laughs> wow. Mama Lou, I, I, please don't tell me I'm looking at what I'm seeing right here. This says Rainbow Push Coalition and Citizenship Education Fund, 47th Annual International Convention. Yes, yes. Make America Fair and yes. Equal. Trailblazer Award presented to who? Watch it. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So that, um, Reverend Jackson uh, awarded you that. Yeah, yeah, Wow, yeah. this is beautiful. Yeah, well, Mama yeah. Lou, thank you. And, uh -huh. and this is what First Church gave me. Oh, my Lord. And First that's... Church and that group gave it to me uh, about... Four years ago, I think. Oh, wow. I think so. You yeah. All type of awards up here. <laughs> now, I got another one that first church, uh, Raph, when Raph was there. What? Raph gave me, oh, I believe it's that one. Oh, my Lord. Is that, is that, the, if that's the first it's, church? It's 1998. Let's see, um, hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't see Raph, good pastor's name, but. No, don't you? Okay. Um, Ralph might have had passed then, I don't know. Yeah. But I know that's first church had given oh, yeah. me that. This one might, let's see what this appreciation, Prince Chapel, a Tucson, Arizona. What you doing in Tucson, Arizona? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, right. I went there. They had me to come what, and, and do a workshop. That was in 05. Yeah, they had me to come and do a workshop. And I should have known looking at the cactus. <laughs> All right. They had me to come and do a workshop. Well, Mama Lou, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> I can't wait to put this together. This is Gospel Diaries, and you have show gave us a <laughs> diary for. We love you so much. Say bye to the people. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> love you, love you, <laughs> love you. Yeah. Made Reverend York, he organized for Reverend York. He church. sure did. He sure did. Uh -huh. And took her in as one of her. Yeah. They didn't like that. In fact, they put him out of the, the uh, association. They put him out. Reverend Evans did to Mother York what Preacher Cobbs did yeah. to Mother yeah. Maddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He mm -hmm. wouldn't do nothing without Mother Maddie. Mm -hmm. And she was good. Yes, she was. Good for him and good for the church. That's it. Right. <laughs>